For Cody Fowley, his career with the Everett Silvertips came to a rather abrupt end. He was struggling to score, and it became a numbers game when the team made a move to add defenseman Connor Cox off waivers from Saskatoon. Tips GM Gary Davidson, already with three overagers, then made the move to release a popular Fowley. Well, we went on a road trip to Brandon and uh, ended up picking up another 20-year-old So uh, on the deadline. So you can only have three, and there's four there, so I got, uh, got released. You disappointed? Uh, yeah, I was. I enjoyed it there, but uh, I like it here a lot, too. It's, it's pretty exciting. The six foot 200 pound right winger then briefly found himself out of the league completely, suiting up for the Vernon Vipers for three games. But the Rockets were watching, and with JT Barnett out for weeks and Mitchell Chapman out longer, they decided to give him a call. Your older guys are important pieces to your team, and with us having injuries to two of our 20 year olds, we felt it. In particular, with our upcoming Eastern road trip, I guess, that we just came off of, we wanted to have a stronger, more mature body up front, so it it led us to bring in Cody, and I think now with the injuries that we've had to JT and Mitch, it's going to give Cody some time to prove that he belongs here and you know, create a little competition between our 20-year-olds. For Fowley, the Rockets' current homestand, the team's longest this year, is a chance to settle down after numerous bus rides. It was a lot to take in. I'd been out on the road a lot, especially going to Brandon, then coming all the way back, and then Vernon, we had a road trip also. So it was kind of stressful, but uh, it's over now, and, and I'm getting more comfortable with Boyster. Seeing you know, two of your 20-year-olds go down with injuries is kind of unusual, and you can throw in Spencer Main into that area as well. So uh, we've had a few injuries to that age bracket, and really when you look around the league, a lot of times your 20-year-olds are the difference between winning and losing, so they're an important piece of the puzzle. The Airdrie Alberta native could be described as your typical third-line energy type player, a guy sent over the boards to shift momentum and get his team back into the game after some sloppy shifts. Well, Cody's a worker. From what we've seen of him the first weekend that he's been with us, he competes uh, very hard. He finishes his checks, and I think he's going to be one of those guys that's going to be um, you know, an energy type, type guy. Just a hard-working, blue-collar kind of player. Uh, just every shift, trying to get a big hit, get the boys going, and uh, maybe pop a goal in every once in a while. Mission accomplished. After going scoreless in the four-game road trip, Fowley came up big in a big game. His Kelowna home debut. He capitalized on two errors to lead the Rockets to victory over the number one ranked team in the nation. The second goal was a beauty. Shade of Joe Sackick there, the player he admired growing up. Once the veterans are healthy, the team has a limited amount of time to carry four and play three 20-year-olds. Fowley's hot hand against the Blazers just made that decision that much harder for the coaching staff. From once everybody gets back and all of our 20-year-olds are healthy, we have two weeks to make a decision, basically. So we can only play three 20-year-olds um, any given night, but we have two weeks from the time when they're all healthy to when we have to announce who we're going to keep. That also adds a bit of stress, too. It's like I'm back in training camp, but I uh, uh, just got to go out and play my best every night. Hopefully, hopefully you're in a squad here.